Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I have here behind me a uh, 2014 Toyota Camry. And what I'm gonna be doing is installing some fog lights. This one is a SE, it's a base model. So it comes with these covers right here. I'm gonna be switching to these and the fog light that comes with the kit. Now what comes in the box are the fog lights, the wiring, and the covers, which is all you pretty much need. But the wiring is basically useless since uh, you're not wiring, like in my other video, I wired up a, uh, a DRL LED light and um, with a turn signal along with it. But for this one, we're only gonna be wiring basically two bulbs to each fog, uh, one bulb to each fog light. So all you need is the connectors and some wires that are lengthy enough to run from down there to the headlight bulb which you want to wire into and we're not going to wire into the turn signal because you don't want them to be blinking so what i'm going to start by doing is taking off this uh grill the bumper and one headlight Okay, so now um, I'm gonna be wiring into this light right here, basically, and this one down here. Where is it? Snake it right there, this one that's orange. But the problem is this one also has a, um, a turn signal wires going to it, so it's not just two wires, pretty simple. But, um, so I'm gonna be, I have my wire tester. Let me grab that real quick. So one of them is gonna be a uh, negative um, is going to be all the time negative and two are positive one is for the turn signal and one is for the the daytime running light that's what I'm going to tap into the negative one is just the negative one and then I'm going to try to find the daytime running light one let me show you but if you want you can easily just wire it up into the headlight one which is right here it just has two wires, and that's, you just wire it up into both of these. It doesn't ma matter which one is which, as long as it's positive and negative, which it is. So, this is my wire tester. I'm going to put this on the negative side of the battery, or any ground on the car. And then I'm going to test which one I need to wire into, which positive one. And then I can switch it, to switch it to the positive terminal on the battery, and then I can find my negative wire, and my negative wire, that's the only one I need to tap into on to this right here. Now I cut these two wires basically is a positive and negative for the connector. I cut one for the left side and one for the right side. Let me throw that over there. And all you need to is just wire these two onto there. And it's gonna basically run with the car. So if the fuse blows in the fuse box, which is right there, um, this would stop working. But it's not gonna be, it's not gonna overload the headlight or the bulb or anything like that. But if you want, you can, the only way I didn't use the, the harness they gave with the, with the kit is because it's just too much work when you can do it a simpler way with just uh, two wires instead of having to wire up a bunch of these. And then it's really simple. It's, like, it's only like, it would only take you five minutes if you, um, after watching this video, it shouldn't take you that long. It should only take you five minutes, especially if you know what you're doing. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna wire these up and then I'm gonna show you how I did it. Now I'll show you which wires I spliced into, into and then you can do it that way. So now 
that I've uh, got it all wired up right here. You can see the fog light is on and the um, daytime running light. That's not the turn signal. But um, the two wires that I tapped into are right here. Let me see. Yeah, I can't. Let me open the connector real quick. So what I tapped into are these two too far uh, right ones. This one was the uh, this one was the positive one, and this one was the negative one right here in the middle. But it doesn't really matter which one you wire into. They're both uh, the all the light needs right here is a positive and negative wire. Two wires, one positive, one negative. It doesn't matter which one is which. So I wired it up into the two right ones. This one and this one right here. This one was the turn, this one right here to the far left is the turn signal one. So if you get a custom fog light kit that has a turn signal, you can just splice one of the positive wires into this one right here. But the other way you can do it is just directly wire it up to the headlight bulb right here, headlight wires. Just uh, cut back here, cut this uh, sealer, sealer tube, whatever it's called, cut it off back here and then um, just splice into the wires, it doesn't matter which one is which. Now I'm going to go do the other side real quick and then show you the results at the end. Alright guys, now that I have uh, completed all my wiring, um, I'm going to be reinstalling everything. I'm going to put the headlights back on, all the bulbs back in, and then I'm going to be installing the, the covers and the fog lights onto the bumper. And that should be it for this video. Everything is complete. Now this is, now this is basically the same for all cars and trucks or anything you want to wire up LED lights into or fog lights or any type of bulb. All you need is a positive and a negative. And it's pretty straightforward from there. You just need to find what you're trying to splice into, whether it's a bulb or a daytime running light, which I did on this one. Or if you wanna install a custom switch, like uh, the kit they gave here, which doesn't have any instructions, but if you look on my other video, the one where I installed the Hyundai Elantra, uh, what is it, the DRLs, pretty much shows how to do it. But other than that, I'll get started on installing everything back together. The fog lights, all you need to do for this car, um, these two right here, they're sticking out, these two slide in right here. See those two holes, they slide in just like that. Oh, if I can show it. Let me slide them in. And then this one right here, if I can get some light on there. This one right here is a screw.
cosmetic, but if you want to make your car look better, this is the way to do it. Alrighty guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please leave a like if this helped you out, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.